Hey there, Libra, and thank you for joining me for this read for the new moon through the full moon through March 13th through the 28th for the full moon where I will be doing new readings for the full moon specifically, but this is the time period between new moon and full moon because I have recently done some really epically big and long reads with the Di Divine Feminine Masculine for the full moon, for the um, the uh, the portal on the 22nd, um, with this new moon guided to do something very different. And that is to work with four, um, four different decks, three oracle and one tarot. So let's get into it. We're gonna be working with our moonology cards, sacred geometry cards, and our um, archetype cards so in just the archetype just the self cards of the archetype oracle by um kim Kranz. so she has those into set up into different categories the selves the uh places the tools and the initiations but we just have the selves here so the part of ourself that we need to pay attention to that needs to come out there needs to be healed that needs energy in some way shape or form is what we're going to get here with the self cards sacred geometry moonology and then with our angel tarot i just pulled out the major arcana cards so we just have the archangels with the major arcana so Without further ado, let's get into it with our Moonology cards. And if I'm new to you, my name is Infinity. I'm a medical medium, psychic, physical empath, natural born energy healer, channeler, astral meditation guide, um, ascension coach, spirit liaison, shaman, and mystic. And I am so glad that you're joining me here today. Please check out my website for lots that I offer as far as working with me personally, private reads, um, energy work for you, your children, your animals. And um, there's, uh, I have my podcast as far as well as ebooks that are available all for free on my website. So please check it out. Again, it's thehealingbutterfly.org. And we got our first card here. Let's see what it is. Your commitment is being tested. Oh, first quarter moon for Libra. Your commitment is being tested. Interesting. I'm hearing more like patience is wearing thin for anything that's out of balance. And you're, Libra, really picking up on that. What is what is out of balance within you and in your in your world, in your life, your relationship? Um, this has kind of come through a lot, and I knew that it, I had a feeling it would just because just the the month of March was about self care and balance and and all that good stuff so it doesn't surprise me here with libra that um when we're talking about commitment being commitment i'm hearing really speaking to patience being patience being tested and losing patience for certain situations people in your life that could be, um, you know, those things that are out of balance, those things that get keep you out of balance or get you out of balance, and you're just really starting to identify, <clears throat> excuse me, really starting to identify these things. Um, so let's see what we have here. Vitality, energize your whole being. vitality with our sacred geometry cards so let's get into that card number 47 vitality there's only one more card after this in the deck card 48 so all the way here at the end with vitality 
let's see what we what we get here. I'm using my light because I need it. <laughs> energize your whole being. I feel energized, healthy, and well. Vitality has shown up today to remind you of the importance of keeping an active mind and an active body and staying mentally and physically strong. To be able to survive our everyday lives, we have to maintain a certain energy level. When we are refreshed and energized, we are less likely to suffer from mental and physical illness. We keep our minds and bodies active and positive. Um, our physical and spiritual temples gain vitality, health, and wellness. The fitter and more active we are, the more endurance that we have. Sacred geometry. The, the geometry of this card is called the rhombic dedohedron. It has 12 congruent two figures that are the same shape and size, rhombotic faces, uh, or sorry, rhombic faces. It is, a, it is a duality of one of the Archimedean cards, or solids, solids, which is the cubocahedron. This particular geometry is seen in the garnet crystal. The garnet is a stone of life force and vitality. Take the time to walk, ride a bike or swim, practice meditation or yoga, spend time with friends and laugh or find some solitude to nurture yourself within the comfort of your own space. Uh, by staying energized and balanced on all levels, we gain a, con a stronger connection to the earth and a stronger connection to spirit. The pathway from base to crown opens, allowing for clear channeling while being able to ground spiritual energies into the physical body. Whew, yeah, okay. <laughs> card number one, and or card numerology is one, and crystal suggestions, garnet, ruby, shiva lingam, um, cuprite, and pyrite. Ooh, excuse me. So feeling here, um, it feels like mm, maybe there's been a lot of activity here. Maybe there's been a lot of reading, a lot of absorbing, a lot of watching videos, a lot of even writing and stuff like that. But it's time to get out of the of the inside. <laughs> and go outside and yeah i'm seeing go for a walk go for a hike go for a run go for a bike ride um just um connect with nature the elements um and again it's your patience that's being tested your are you listening to to all the guidance coming in? Are you kind of picking and choosing here? Your vitality, your life force energy is extremely important for your overall well-being to connect with your chakras. I'm hearing it's really important. Let's connect. Um, let's get in touch with our chakras. If you haven't yet. Um, your body. I think it feels like there's been a disconnect with the body and we need to get into a greater um, situation with, with the body here. And um, oh, I lost my balancing, balancing the energy in the body. Because even if you look at this, it's really interesting. It's a first quarter moon, um, but it feels it feels very kind of like half moon to me, um, and just the to need the need to get into that balance, um, Libra, um, and your commitment to balancing out your energies of the inner and the outer. Because um, it's kind of like what's going on in the head, what's going on with the third eye, what's going on with awakening your remembrance, um, spiritual stuff is kind of like on hyperdrive almost. Um, but the need to balance that out with physical, with the physical energy needs to happen. There we go. I'm like, what is going on here? The shadow came out. This is the second time the shadow card is making an appearance. So this is 
really kind of speaking to, um, this is like even like the opposite of the last time that the shadow came out with what, what I was seeing ahead of it. Really interesting. <laughs> but look at this. Look at this. Look at these shapes, my dear. Look at these shapes coming out in force here. This diamond shape. Um, balance. So, north, south, east, west. Fire, water, air, earth. And now, if you watch my last two guided meditations, Gaia, I channel Gaia and she comes through to really let us know that tech, technology is an element that we really need to start to incorporate into our balancing act with the elements um, and understanding how that, you know, connects everything and that it is natural, which is an interesting new concept for us. So the shadow, let's get into it here. Okay, the unspeakable, the unwelcome, the denied. Although every card in the archetypal archetypes deck has a shadow potential, this card asks us to delve into the qualities of the shadow itself. We often think that the shadow can be purified, illuminated, and made right through effort and achievement. However, it is typically the case that our lofty pursuit of ascension and perfection is the very source of shadow material itself. By rejecting parts of ourselves and the world, we begin to separate from the whole rather than getting to know the qualities and content of our shadow. We busy ourselves with avoiding its presence. This is denial. When this card appears, it is time to take inventory of those things you've been denying. When the mind responds with, no, anything but that, you are touching shadow. Find support for this deep inner work and move towards the shadow with patience and compassion. Okay, when light, revealing unconscious aspects of the self and world, and when dark, denying unconscious aspects of the self and world. And go deeper with Owning Your Own Shadow by R. Johnson. And contemplate the following scientific observation. The closer an object a person, place, or a community is to the light, the longer the shadow it casts. And um, in the shadow of the gods are the very gods themselves. Reflect on this statement by James Hillman in, in, the blue in a blue fire. What do you despise about yourself? By awakening, you move towards shadow. So maybe there's been this, um, because there's this definite connection here, there's no denying that the inside, that going here on the inside and these, these shapes here are definitely coming to say what's here on the inside, what is, what's on the inside here and, and you're being tested to pull these things apart for yourself to um to work on the shadow aspect of the self what are you denying what don't you like about your existence about who you are about your your authenticity about or maybe like what are you confused about yourself what don't you understand what's come to you that said or what have you always thought about yourself that is now changing that's now in flux that you, you're seeing a different side or you're noticing different aspects of yourself. And what what is that? Um, I'm feeling like there's this need there like there's been this avoidance like you've been like like earlier I was talking about how it's been like your um, like your patience is being t t tested and more is coming in for you to 
to to see or to figure out but then there's like the stuff you've been like picking and choosing and avoiding to see or avoiding to connect to yourself could be part of it um and for your uh archangel card it is the empress your um Major Arcana is the Empress, card number three with Archangel Gabriel. Lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams, nurture yourself and others. Closer for you. So, your commitment is being tested. Vitality, the shadow, and the Yeah, it's possibly more dominant. There's been a lot more dominant energies towards the masculine. And we need to pull it back into balance with the divine feminine. Um, this coming out twice with the Empress. So... I really feel like if you are a female that maybe there's been some pushing, you know, pushing aside the girly girl, the pinks, the the fluffy, the pretty, the glittery, all that and you've been very much more um on that masculine type thing going on. Um tapping into more of those energies perhaps. But I feel like that, like those types of things are coming in that the softer, rounder things of life that's getting your attention. And if you are a man or masculine and these divine feminine energies, um, with the Empress, um, that too, very similar. Maybe these energies coming through for you are more, um, are coming in to be softer and caring for yourself to use to feel into your life force and your vitality in a different way to express that in a different way and your shadow side is going what is happening with this right now like who am I what it what am I gravitating to um, this is definitely a different <clears throat> so Commit, it says your commitment is being tested, but what I think this is really kind of pointing to is more like your stability, your foundation, your awareness of like kind of what you are and what go, what you think and what you feel and all that, that's being tested. Like that's like, wait, who am I? What's going on? What am I into? What? Am, what where am I? What? <laughs> like that kind of thing. But lastly, I'm being told, just follow the Empress, follow Archangel Gabriel, listen to the guidance that comes in um, without you being in that, like, anxious, like, confused, like, what's, like, like, um, pressing, pressing energy. You want to be more into receiving and the flow energy. That's... That that's the difference. The the divine masculine is pointed and targeted and 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 precise and you know moving forward like that type of energy. And divine feminine is is more receiving and open and round and um and is the is the phases of the moon. Um, and, and all that. So uh, what I would say with this, which is very interesting, um, this coming out here is truly the need for balance, <clears throat> the need for balance. And I just keep looking at these cards and how similar they are here. One speaking to shadow, one speaking to vitality, one speaking to dark, one speaking to literally vitality, life force, energy, light. Shadow is that dark side. And so um, Libra is being asked to really balance this out, balance out this energy, dive into really feeling the divine feminine, really getting that in check. Um, <clears throat> this could be also for anybody if you're like 
been of the mind that nurturing or or being responsible for somebody being in a relationship having a partnership um, even being a parent being somebody responsible to other people anything like that that has to do with like like mother type of uh, the empress type of um, energy that if that just see if that's been rejected by you see if you're just been like love isn't for me connection isn't for me relationships mothering you even like avoid um animals and animal like relationships or that's the only thing that you really commit to um because it feels like when it comes to connections that there's been this because again your commitment is being tested so now i'm picking up on this in the sense of of whatever it is that was in your past to kind of guide you in a way of of either being alone or connecting very specifically to those that cannot really grow with you or take your take your energy has been a way for you to stay separate for a way for you to stay disconnected to a certain degree like you've been using these things in order to stay where you're at and everything is saying like this isn't gonna sustain itself anymore you need to see this for what it is to be able to go forward with vitality with energy with with um health and well-being instead of being like sick because you're not you're not seeing what needs to be seen for yourself you're not you're not um honoring your energy you're not honoring your your um your life force in the way that it needs to be balanced you're just kind of like i'm looking this way or i've looked this way and now it's like all that is being being like I just see this like whoa we got it like you built something on like a wave going up this way and you're like that works and then the wave starts coming down this way and it's like what it doesn't work anymore it's because it's not in balance and if you see here this is about balance and this is about balance and this is about balance it's all about balance oddly enough here Libra that we're talking about this here and and um, the Empress also is about balance is about um, nurturing yourself and others nurturing yourself on all levels and not denying the self um so <laughs> i would greatly suggest for you to check out the video on um body love uh and meeting your guardian angel as well as the fears meditation fear shame guilt um that one is coming to mind as well or any of the ones that you may um be gravitate towards or be guided to but definitely also cord cutting i have a cord cutting ebook and meditations please check those out um self-healing meditation is amazing i channeled this meditation to help us with cord cutting it's like no other cord cutting meditation i promise you that so please look into that for anybody or any situations, experiences, traumatic events, and so on and so forth that have put some type of block on your capacity to connect with others because um, and your own inner nurture because it feels like it's like like an idea that happened that was like, I'm not doing this again. It, it just it's it's been unsuccessful and it's hurt deeply and I'm not doing this again that that was a decision that was made in the past but now because you're awakening and you're gravitating towards you know the light and ascension and spirituality that those two things don't coincide um, when you are spiritual when you are connected you're coming from a place of love and unity and wanting to connect so you being like oh I'm, I'm not doing that but then being pushed in that direction is very out of balance so you need to reconcile that okay thank you so much Libra for being here I hope to see you soon bye for now